them. It's on. Charles? When I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marsden. What my folks say? Eh? Wagon can't take this. You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards the roads. You them horses, will you? You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. Hey, hey, slow down. I blame you two for rescuing him. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner's seat. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody need... <sighs> Mr. Marston. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still would die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. All right, get on that train. Hey. Faster. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Oh! Everybody stay calm and you will get shot. Go! Everything you got. Money, valuable. There you I go. Know. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Please, don't help me. Please, stop. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Stop. I am adverse to conflict, my dear. No. It ain't worth dying over. Tell him, Mr. M. Here. Money, pay him. Don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay, Come on. okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I wanna... God damn it. <laughs> sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. This is unbecoming, huh? 
sure about that? No. You go you ahead and look for the baggage car. We ain't playing around here. Come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Stop running now! Shut up, bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I'm not a bad man. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Damn it, Arthur. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. Yeah, what is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Twice a chance of hitting someone. Funny. Some decent stuff. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right out of love, bum. Hey. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. When Best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Come on, we should get out of here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? Oh, I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Man, there's a few more of them turning up. <gasps> Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with him. He won't tell you again. Ah! 
Fun boys, real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Now hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this lot was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, God. <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum? Yeah, do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? I... Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me... Their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together, like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case... Send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. 
So I hear. Maybe. See if anything's biting. Well, you're on, my friend. That's it, come on! <laughs> wow! Yeah, you can stay.
boy. Come on. Time to go, boy.
Okay, fella. Here. Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Oh, God. Thank you! Oh, thank Don't you, mister! Morning, partner. <laughs> 